Welcome back to the Facilitators Inner Circle. Today we have five quick tips to help you to prepare, plan and facilitate workshops across cultures. Recently, we worked with a group of Vietnamese horticulturalists in Northern Australia. The thing that made this process work was firstly getting materials translated into their own language, something they were comfortable with. Using an interpreter is also important. That kind of sounds obvious. The thing again that was a success point here is we had an interpreter who had a good working knowledge of agriculture and horticulture. And we are able to adjust the process accordingly. There's no way normally that you could get through the amount of material in a workshop like this when you're effectively speaking two languages the whole time. Understanding cultural characteristics is also an important area. And thinking about the things about yourself that may be uncomfortable for people of another culture and thinking about the things about them that may make you uncomfortable. They're two outliers we often get caught on. The key thing to focus on are the areas where you've got commonality, the things that you think you can work comfortably together on to get success. Also, looking about the group's daily activities. Say if you're working with an isolated indigenous community, what are some of the, what are the ways they normally map out their day? What are their daily activities? How do things work out for them? Is a normal day a workshop? Possibly not. So thinking about what are some of the daily rituals? How do you link into what you're doing with that? How do you link with language as well? And perhaps even the type of paperwork and visuals you're taking along. And if you're working with groups from a number of cultures, do a lot of planning ahead. Think of who's gonna be in there, perhaps what positions they might have within that group. What are the things that are part of their norms? And a good tip for getting a group off and running is to actually bring a world map. This is a great tip from Christine Hogan. Bring that world map and get people to show where they come from and the things they like about their origins. And finally, another area of cross-cultural work is working across generations. Thinking about the language of the generations that you're working with. If they're older people, what's some of the language that's common to them? Same with younger people. And also, what's their current world view? Where are they at in life? How do you connect with that? And a great little tip here is using music. Music that you're familiar with, they're familiar with, and getting some commonality in between. So there's some quick tips to help you in working across cultures. Your timing for watching this video is excellent because coming up we go through each of these plus more in detail in the members newsletter for the facilitators in our circle. If you're not already a member, go to our website and join up. And also, another bonus, on the 7th of February, we have coming up a workshop on cross-cultural facilitation. Again, if you go to our website, look in the events area, you'll find out all the details on that. My advice is to get in there quick. Thanks for your time. Looking forward to your feedback. Have you gone to the website yet? Have you signed up for the newsletter? What about the workshop? Be quick.